What is going on, Punk Nation, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator video. Got Lamo Mods here. Yo, hey, what's up? And what do we have today, Lambo? Alright, so thanks to Jim Streams, he added the Paradise map and made it a 4X map, so it is way bigger. And it still needs a lot of work, but there is mud tracks installed all over the place on the outskirts on one area that I've put a lot of time into. And it's good competition for some good trucks out here. I, I think people can mod some trucks, and this would be a good good proving ground. <laughs> For real. Definitely. All right. I guess you know, let's get the I definitely got to say, everybody's been talking so much on Facebook, so much beef. This is where the proving ground starts. If you can build a truck and it goes through all these courses and doesn't get stuck, you're the top dog. Right. Well, these stock stock trucks did not doing too bad on a couple of it, but they high centered really fast. You know, I'm just going to say this one. If Expandables Modding thinks they're top dog, they need to come through this track and see how all their trucks do and average their trucks out. Ooh, this one's a little steep. I didn't realize this one was so steep. There we go. We didn't even go it's down the steepest one. Well, this I one's... know. I was going to start with that, but then I changed my mind. Last I was like, that's pretty good. We'll have to leave that. So the, the mud will work in single-player mode. Uh, right now, multiplayer mud, for some reason, is having funkiness. And I think that's all across the board for all the maps. But I might be a little bit wrong. But it works perfect in single-player mode. But actually being with somebody, it's... You know, you got your ups and downs. Yeah. We'll you got to sacrifice. But, right. but it, it's definitely it working. It's not doing the splash. We yeah. just did, like, one circuit there. So I made this kind of track. Oh, man. Definitely need some more power in it. But this track goes around a couple times. I think if you had a big, beefy mud mud truck, man, that's what I want to see. I want to see some awesome mud trucks next. Splash. Do one more, more loop. Let's go up here, and then let's go down the big nasty. This will take us back up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome. I gotta say, the scenery is definitely amazing through here. It's like you're in a real life. I tried to put a lot of detail into it before I put, like, there's not a lot of objects in this area, like newspaper stands and stuff like that. There will be. Uh, but right now, it's strictly just vegetation and mud. All right, so here's the big nasty. There's the big sign I made. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't even jump that high. Oh. Well, yeah, I can right. kind of get a shot of it, but you can see the sign. Yeah. Big yeah, it looks letters. better once we get down here. Oh, yeah, once we get down to the bottom. I'm going to so, gun it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For all you people, just start way back at this tree and just put your foot to the floor and never look back. Because you're going to go, woof, right off the cliff. They get a lot of speed, but enough to get me going. Oh, I can't even see. Oh, no. <laughs> going sideways. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, you're doing, you did way better than me. Oh, silly. <laughs> Drifted. But, yeah, there's the big nasty sign. Looks it's like it's a, a big nasty hill. I'm going to smooth out right here at the bottom a little bit, just so when you're trying to go up it, it's not so hard of a start. Yeah, but I did my power slide. Actually... <laughs> and then but over it here. Is big, nasty hill. And so then, with all... yeah. You go. You're, you're, going to this, you're going to the second area now, and I don't really know what this turned into. It just was a lot of fun to take the monster truck in here and have a blast with it when I first did it. Because it's just big and wet. <laughs> and slippery. I love it. You can you can fishtail in here. <laughs> Lambo, uh, you're killing me a... right now. <laughs> you are killing me. <laughs> Legitly. Now, there is... There's 
there's that one error right there I told you about, but that, that'll be fixed before the end of it. I think I'm stuck. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> this stuff would be interesting with Destruction Derby. Oh, shit. All right, so let's head over to this other racetrack over here now. Bro. Not getting my deposit back on this truck. That nah. one definitely has more power. You're yeah, able to ride me pretty good. I'm surprised. Oh, there we go. Back up well, to normal. I think they tried making that a Ford Ranger and this an F-150. I think yeah, that a Ranger or... I always thought it looked like the old school uh, Toyotas. Yeah, I don't know what they were trying to go for, but maybe it was the or Toyota. Like uh, uh, well, there's those Datsuns and then the Toyotas. It was all like in the 80s that they made these trucks that look like just small little work trucks. So this is going to be full with uh, a couple of parking spots for mud cars, basically. I was kind of thinking this being more like a open wheel mud track. So now I'm still sliding. <laughs> so you basically run up in another little course. That's what I like about Paradise is it's a bunch of racing courses. Once we figure out what's going on with the mud and able to use it in multiplayer, there'll be a lot more. But it does do what the coding says it's doing. It <laughs> definitely sinks the tires. So it's 50% oh, there. You just got to tweak it. And yeah, that's... and it's not its not even my code. Uh, it's, it's the guy that originally developed the mud code. I have to double check with the XML. I, I don't know him personally. I just read it, and I just wanted to make... I'll, I'll make sure I put the guy who developed the mud in when I post the download up. I just never had contact with him, so it's... Me and names are bad. Yeah, me but too. But it's, it's his script, and he's testing and tuning it, so each time he releases a new script of it, I'll make sure to throw that in here and give him another shout-out for it. But I basically put mud all over this hill just kind of a off-road and while we're you know? on the subject of credit i know a lot of people have misconceptions of where mods have been posted and stuff and the last incident that cody was in was a big misunderstanding and i think some people really need to apologize so i would like to hear an apology from expandables modding and for those hundred people to give Lambo another chance because we're humans, guys. We make mistakes all damn day long. You know, your brain can go wonko. It can go this way. It can go that way. And just like he said, you know, he's given a pack of mods. He's got Winston. He's got a ton of modders, so he doesn't have time to clarify and make sure this stuff is correct. We all have lives. We all do different jobs. He's on a boat for most of the summer. So bear with them. You know, we're not perfect. I know the Expandables Mining Group is trying to beat the top dogs, but it's really just getting old, and you're really pissing off the community 110%. I'm just, I, and all I want to say for our little group is I'm just here to have a good time and have fun. So, like, I, I've, I've removed myself from a lot of the groups and stuff because I'm, I'm a lot... I feel like I'm a lot older than to deal with the name calling and the drama and stuff. So, and me too. I definitely just went past all that and just moved on. If you guys have removed <laughs> me for petty shit, that's on you guys. If you guys want to be little dirtbags and have all this grudge, and by all means, have it because stress does kill you eventually. So, have fun. Well, as of this moment right now, I'm on pretty good terms with all those guys. I mean, I'm sure there's something under the breath that I don't know of, but I I personally always leave an open door to where if somebody has an issue with something, if an accident's been made, if somebody's feeling has been hurt, I'm very open to that. Uh, I don't respond well to negativity and being rude. So just so everybody knows that, like, just come, come at me nicely. I'm not here to hurt anybody or take the fame away from anybody i'm just enjoying myself making mods we're all here to make mods and make the game great for people yeah. that don't have the fortunes of making mods you know a lot of people say oh do it yourself and stuff you're a modder you know 
do some stuff, you know, make some stuff for people. Maybe it has to be a request. Maybe you didn't think of it. So kids that don't have the ability to make mods, they're your thinking cap. They think outside of the box. And if you can't take those ideas and turn them into something and just be a jackass about it, then why are you a modder? You don't have to do personal projects for somebody all the time, but it would be nice to throw in a couple here and there throughout the 365 days we have per year. Maybe something special for Christmas or something special for summer. Well, and you know, there's I've noticed there's a couple different types of people that play this game. There's a, people that really enjoy just playing the game. They don't want to open up Giants Editor. They don't want to have to tweak the XML. They just want to play the game, and that's cool. There's people who just like to make mods that just enjoy creating something and then, you know, watching it or using it or just being, you know, marveled something of production besides, you know, doing drugs or anything bad to get yourself in trouble. You know, this is a very healthy hobby as long as we all keep it healthy socially. And yeah, there's a I'd lot of YouTubers see. that make quite a bit of money, and they do a really good job of not buying drugs, not blowing it on stupid shit. They buy something that they can invest into, like a vehicle or some cool stuff. Yeah. And, so, and, and that's, the, that, uh, that's the type of... Oh, there we go. I got dumped on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go until I stopped. Perfect. You know, I just want to breed a positive environment you know, so, I mean, as much as possible. I want everybody in the comments below to swear by their heart. This is going to be a new decade that we're coming up against. 2020. Let's all change. Let's all put our grief down. Everybody's block list on every group, including Expandables Modding, including my group. Let's empty them completely and give everybody a second chance. It's a new decade. If you can't understand that, then you can simply pack your bags and leave as an admin or just a simply a group member to every group. Because I'm going to make a video personally emptying my block list and giving everybody a second chance. That's pretty cool. I, You know what? I, I got depressed when I was dealing with a lot of that sort media stuff and it's why i don't respond back to a lot of messages uh because honestly I, I have all my notifications off for all that stuff uh because it the, there's a lot of good and i i really enjoy a lot of positive comments that i get from people and, and the support and but also at the same time that's not what i fuel myself and when you see negative stuff, when it doesn't matter if you're just getting into modding or whatnot. You could be brand new into this, a nine-year-old kid, just make a truck, and you think, oh, this is so cool, let me upload this somewhere because I want to be a part of the group. I want to be a part of the, all of these guys that make mods or play with their mods. They just want to be a part of something. And then you, not knowing who they are, what they are, or anything, if you leave a negative comment, a negative anything on it, you know, like, you might really discourage that person from getting into this game, you know, and the people, the game doesn't make it, okay, the people make it. Wait, games are great and all, but those games that stick around are usually ones that can harbor a community around it. And Farming Simulator definitely has one of those types of community. Oh, I got stuck. But as, Sorry, of, right, going to... as of right now, yeah. we're sinking like the Titanic people. It's not looking super good. So this is a new decade. This is a special New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. This is a brand new decade. Let's make it big. This ain't like every year that we go into. This is sure. 10 years in the making that we get to celebrate this one year. <laughs> All right. So we'll get back on the map here. Basically, yep. this is kind of what... My idea is is when th this is all seasons ready, when it snows, all these trails are going to be ten times worse. Like if it snows or rains, uh, all these trails are going to be way worse. 
I, I have I have the mud set up to when seasons happens. It basically just turns us into a big more of a mud pit than it is. Most of the updates have taken place in uh, like in this area that we just drove through. I'm adding a lot of forestry inside of the main area, and uh, we're I'm right in the middle of creating the animations for fires. So unlike I had to make the fire for the placeables that Spencer TV was using, and it was because they wouldn't let me use particles in a placeable. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, but I can inside the map. So I'm I'm building houses that basically catch on fire, and, and it's almost like a story of how they catch on fire. Like the blow when you say activate fire, you'll see this blowtorch fall over on a curtain, and then the flame slowly starts to get bigger. I've been really working on the animations a lot, almost like my new. You know, my missile that I have on this one, it's very, very intricate animations, how everything has to turn in a certain time, and and uh, I find that stuff really enjoyable. That's kind of the, the rundown of all the new stuff that I've added in here. Uh, there is a ton of new trails that the new, like, inside the basic area, most people have already seen on Paradise Map. I just cleaned them up a little bit because I didn't know how to do the spleen or splines. No, splines. I was, I was just watching a, a hospital show where they were in somebody's spleen, so that's where that came from. <laughs> that's kind of the, the the gist of it, man. Can you think of anything else I might have forgotten that I, I talked Not about really. earlier? Basically, you to get to this area, there's a couple paths. There's one over by Dirt Dogs, and then one of the easiest ways I've been is just go to the end of the drag strip get on the drag strip and go to the end of it and make sure you bring a pretty big truck because it's pretty pretty gnarly around here there's going to be a lot more uh, added between now and the first when this when this is uh out but this is a really pretty view i think we sharing a sunset with you punka has been a special moment Definitely, it looks cool with that sunset, but this is a lot of potential. You got this beach for camping, off roading, there's plenty of stuff oh, to yeah. do here. And the water goes all the way around them. So, so it's basically the world's largest. And start having fun, start whipping the, it. The world's, yeah, the world's largest jet ski course. <laughs> and it's going to get bigger. Uh, all, the, all the perimeter of this basically isn't detailed yet i'm actually pondering to add on another area just so people can drive the boats but i don't know if there's a lot more to go i'd say this leaves like 30 percent of the ideas that are coming its way in it if you guys have any ideas leave in the comments below in this video or go over to the patreon and leave it in there um, you know, leave some awesome ideas. This is a map that is up and coming for many months. Maybe it could take years, but it's the amount of detail you put into your mods or map that make it worth it to people actually downloading and taking your time. I've been seeing plenty of mods that really just need to take another two or three weeks and really looked over. Does it work with Seasons? Does it work with these mods? Test them with the latest mods like I used to. Oh, shoot. And, the, and even then you still have issues. I've been testing and testing and testing, but this is the first time that I threw it multiplayer was today. So it's like, oh. You gotta throw in multiplayer. You gotta, you gotta do all the ins and outs. Maybe ask people and say, hey, what do you guys really do with the mods that I produce? How could I test them to make sure they will work for you? So it's not very deep out here, if you can't tell. No, not very. <laughs> you can literally it, just... Yeah, drive across it. But I did that. That way the uh, the hovercraft and stuff still works out here. And I'm going to add a lot of the boats, uh, the shallow keel boats that I had in my in my boat simulator map. I'm going to add those in here. So I was, I was thinking of having half of it split. So there's going to be an area back uh, towards the Big Nasty that's just a big farming area. But you can only get to it by ferry or by boat. So you would have to farm, load up all your stuff in a trailer, put it on the hovercraft or ferry, and wheel it to your, 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 your cell destination. And then not only that, 
there's a bunch of new forestry in here. I mean, there's so many trees to chop down. Use and, the global scripts and use their stuff, the sawmill yeah. and stuff. There's wide open spaces for that, placeables. And see, I, di I didn't install it because they specifically asked not to install their mods. So you kind of have to download them. I don't know. You yeah, know, watch you my pallet series. You'll see all the production mods you can possibly have. Exactly. It's and, endless. But I left big open spaces for them. Big open spaces. But that's pretty much uh, the newest of my update until pr probably I'm going to spend the next three or four days on it until the first. And then after that, I'll probably spend another week on it. And then give all the all the Patreons um, uh, like a second version of it. An updated version about mid mid month of J January. Else, I should have two updates coming out. Just one because I know everybody really wants to go muddy, and I have a ton of people asking for the map because they want to they want to test their trucks out on on the big nasty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap that up and then post it on the first. This should this should should be a pretty dandy day. I also try to get this video out before the first, which I think I can make it. So. Uh, that would be the the wise choice, I guess. I You'll should be win. able to throw it up real quick. So, well, I hope we didn't offend anybody too bad today. Thank you so much for your listening, Jabber. And I hope you guys really understand, because let's make this community great again. Because we have the potential to be big as GTA Five as they are. Like I just started over on Five M. There's a ton of trucks that are brand spanking new the gmc denali's and they're not even out in farm some people are holding them they're hoarding them in their little mods folder and being absolutely jerks about it and that's unacceptable you know share share with the community you know like where you were taught when you were little share your toys <laughs> you know sharing they, is caring and a lot of people they I, I, I get this much understanding because they'll be like, well, I downloaded your Patreon. Crap. I'm like, if I work on a truck and I get it to the point where it works and it's error-free and all that kind of stuff, and I have alpha, alpha is usually like, hey, play with this. This is what I got done. I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not because I'm not obligated to finish anything. I just want everybody to know that. Like, <laughs> I made it. I'm not obligated to finish anything. I finish things that I find joy in creating. Some things, they get so frustrating that I just have to take a break from it and come back to it. And that's where I get a lot of people, they're like, well, this is still private. And I'm like, it's because I couldn't figure it out or I couldn't. I mean, I, I'm pretty good at what I do sometimes, but I am not perfect, you know, and I'm still learning just like every And else. that's where you go into, you start a mod, you think you have a plan, but then Giant starts not having the right physics <coughs> and the right tools or, to finish the mod. Or, or, or maybe just the knowledge that I needed there at that time, because I have a lot of stuff that... Like you can go back to. I, yeah. Exactly. The, the, I'll, I'll get it to a point that I know that, okay, I know if I come back to it after I learn this, I can just finish it really quick like that. So instead of putting the whole mod off, I'll work on it all the way to the point where, like, I have two fire trucks right now that I cannot figure out. I want them to do two features at once, and it will two of them, so I can't figure that out, so there's no fire truck. There was going to be, but it's just, you know, it's, a, it's just kind of a part of the game. It's a... Uh, Fortunately, I'm not like a retail, like a. Re <laughs> so all you yeah, people that's... saying, well, these mods should be out every 30 days. That's not really true. You know, he's gonna put a set mods out there, and maybe one or two may actually make it after the 30 day period. The yeah, the actual car hauler semi has been in Patreon for two months because it's legitly getting built and modified to be 110% for you guys. So if you want quality mods, you have to wait for them. It sucks, but you can be beta testers. That's why we give you the option to be a beta tester so you can play with it and quiet yourself down a little bit. So I figured out how this works. I'll explain this mud to everybody really fast. So leave your lights on. So uh, when, when, you, when you drive in there, 
because I'll, I'll I'll move this truck and it'll still do it. When when you drive in there, so there's no mud right here, but the tires are staying sunk in the ground because I last left it. What the mud script does, it actually just edits the radius of the tire. So right now it thinks, so because when I was in the vehicle last, mud. So it changed the the XML of the vehicle to say that the radius of the tires is smaller. So it sinks like like if you did your mod wrong. But the minute I get back in and I drive forward, watch it pop up, point. It's it, that's how the mud works. And then the splashing is just uh, basically a water shader that looks like dirt. It's a, uh, it's like I said, it's not my script, but I read the Lua file and that's basically how it works. And, and it, what it does is it's, 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 it's set up on a random number. So it changes the radius between a set number. It'll reach in there, read the radius of the tire that's on it. And then it'll fluctuate it between that and like a fourth or a third of its normal size. And then that's, that's how you get the my... mud to splash up. Yep. Makes it look like it's closer and then it looks like it's bogging down and going super low. But that's pretty much my understanding of the mud script. I'm sure it's a lot more detailed than that because I was watching Shy Wizard's video on it. And then I read the comment of the creator. That's how I kind of understood it. And then after reading the Lua a little bit, figured it out more. Because it won't do it if I'm not in it, and you drag it over mud. You have to actually be in it for it to edit the XML. The minute I get in it and I drive forward, right in the dirt. Well, that's it for me, man. It's dark. I think I'm going to go home. And yeah, me make too. Some marshmallows. So, make some thank marshmallows. you guys so much for listening to us. We really appreciate it. We're just two people trying to make a difference in this community, trying to get the ball rolling. It's a, going to be a brand new year and a special one since it is 10 years. So, you know, it's another decade. So this is a very special one. I think it's very appropriate to clean out all your block lists in your Facebook group. And let's restart. Everybody get a clean start and no grudges come January 1st. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Make sure to hit like on this video because it's awesome of you to do so. <laughs> All right, punk.